All right, folks, check this out. Today's lot of video is going to be about doing some work on this front driver's side suspension. We've got a nice new genuine spring here, new galvanized turret and the plate and this part which holds the turret on and our new dampener here from Terraforma. So we're going to replace everything here and at the same time we will get rid of some of this crustiness and um, clean things up a bit and by the end of it we'll have a nice solid front right <laughs> uh, corner of the car. I've already done it on the other side. I've already done it so I know what I'm doing now. Um, but yes, I will show you the steps that I'm taking to replace these parts. Now obviously you need to jack the car up, you need to support the axle and you also need to support the body. And uh, the first thing I do when taking this all apart is to remove this bolt underneath which holds the dampener um, to the actual plate underneath. So this large one here, undo that one first. And then there'll be four bolts around here. Um, and once they're out, theoretically, you should be able to, after removing this part, um, it's just plastic trim by the way, you should be able to just lift it out and up through the engine bay. And what you'll find is it's a number 19 you know, thereabouts, so that seems to fit. Um, this is a 300 TDI, I remember, 1996. Um, you'll find that you can't undo it because this moves the actual dampener itself. So I'll show you what I do. Now I've got this tool here and uh, I wrap it around the, the dampener like that and then that clamps around it and uh, then that stops it moving so I'll show you. Shit, I just dropped the phone. I just got this new phone. Um, it's okay, it's not broken. Anyway, right, so that's clamped around there. That means I can then turn these independently to get that bottom nut off. Right, so once you've got that bottom nut off and the four nuts off here, you'll see that everything should be loose now. And once you've taken this plastic cover off, you might have to, um, well, you will have to remove this coolant thing tank but you don't have to do it completely and then you're just able to lift it the whole turret um, and the dampener through the engine bay. Right and that's it pulled right out. Um, push it in. There's not really any rebound to it at all so that really wasn't doing any sort of a job. Um, and what you're left with is um, a lot of crustiness, which obviously needs to be tidied up. Um, but these, this actually retaining part here, um, I've got, you know, that comes with a brand new one. So that'll just get, once the spring's out of the way, this just all comes out and then you put a new one in. So the next step is um, the, the spring, which is my least favorite uh, part of it because it's, yeah, you have to use the clamps on either side to get uh, enough room to get it out and inside here uh, there's one, two bolts that go through and you have to get them unclipped on each side as well. Um, I mean technically you could probably do that after you take the spring out actually, uh, but then again taking it out now, or loosening them off just now, will give you an extra couple of, I don't know, an extra 10 mil of clearance or something, so you don't have to compress it for that extra 10 mil. Um, so let's get the tensioners on, on each side now. Now if you're lucky enough to have an impact driver, you can feed through your extension from the top of the turret. That's a 17 mil impact bit. Um, 
there and then we've got our spanner on the on the other side so we'll just hold this give this a few squirts um, and take off those two bolts there at the bottom which hold on the the um oh god what's it called um uh sorry i can't remember what it's called it's like a I don't know. You know what I mean. This thing, this thing that came off. Um, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Um, well, I've got a brand new one. It's this. So those two, they go through here, and then you know, so they just fasten onto the actual chassis. Um, so yeah, simple enough, but that's what I mean by the extra clearance there So if you like left this on and then tried to Take the spring out you'd have to compress it for those extra that extra bit there Rather than just you know taking this out and then the whole thing would just Kind of slide out with the with the spring And what I usually do is with the, the body jacked up um, I'll let the axle down as far as it'll go um, that way there's more space between each one of the spring and then that means you can fit in your spring compressors more easily and uh, it kind of speeds things up a little bit as well all right once you've got your tensioners on each side of the spring um, I mean ideally you want to have them completely opposite each other so that it's it's even but uh, it's not always entirely possible because you need room to be able to get to the, uh, the part that you actually have to turn so um, it's not it's not perfect it's not um, yeah well I, I don't know it's it's to me I've done this a few times now and it seems to have worked each time so I'm not too concerned about it um, these I got these better quality ones which I've got the sort of retaining clips here gives you a bit more confidence that they're not gonna slip off um, so really it's just a case of Tightening these evenly, slowly. Um, I don't use the impact for this stage. I just do it by hand um, with this. And uh, at some point, there should be enough compression to pull the spring free. And there we go. Compressed it enough, slid, slid right out and uh, before we do any installation of new parts, obviously I want to clean up all this, give it a bit of, a bit of paint, and, uh, but probably that's tomorrow's job because it's getting quite dark. Right, so I've given everything a bit of a de decrustifying, given it a bit of paint, and uh, then slapped on the new galvanized plate at the bottom, it's just the two bolts here. And then we've got this sort of turret plate here, which you just have to have in place at the moment. Um, and then the spring obviously sits between the two parts. So once you've done once you've done that, then you can start compressing the new spring and trying to get it into back into place. And once you've got it compressed enough, you can slide it into where it's supposed to sit, and then slowly unwind both the tensioners on each side. And uh, yeah. Just take it easy, wear, wear goggles, wear gloves, do everything that I don't. You see all the debris that came off when I cleaned up the chassis and the suspension mounts and everything. All that crud. So, spring back on and uh, that's to me, that's the hardest part done. Um, using these uh, compressors for the spring is always a bit nerve-wracking. But anyway, next job is to uh, install the dampener with the uh, turret. And that's it, once you've got your turret on, um, just fasten up the bottom nut with the washers and uh, yeah, I'll just tidy up a little bit of this, put paint there and put this uh, cover back on and there we go, that's it. So not really that difficult, just takes a bit of time. So. I would say a uh, 6 out of 10 difficulty, 9 out of 10 risk, and uh, that's, that's it. So there we go, all done, and I can put the wheel back on.